Why hello there guys, welcome aboard for another video. It's uh, Quirty Afro here. Hey there passengers, I should have said that first, but you know that you know what I mean. Hey there passengers, my um, my passengers, you know. Welcome aboard for another video, OMC2, and it is a different map finally. I know it's it's taken some time for me to, you know, drift up drift off the uh, Berlin Spandau map, but I thought, you know, it's about time we... I have tried, like, basically, I have other maps on the OMC2 game, but I haven't tried them yet on, like, video and stuff like that. This map was one of them I had so much problems with, and I finally got it to work, which is good. Uh, the map was also suggested on Steam by Busman2003, so I have to give him credits for, like, he did a huge post telling me stuff about it, and I read about it, and also the link, if you guys want it, will be in the description for this, uh, this, a uh, uh, map to, do uh, to download to get all the vehicles and stuff for it. They're basically, uh, the map's called Gatterville, or Ga Gatorville, or however you would like to pronounce it. Uh, before we get into that, also uh, shout outs for this video go to Tech Briz Space Gaming and Driver Lewis. That's again Tech Briz Space Gaming and Driver Lewis. Anyway, back to this Gatterville. Yes, uh, it's a nice map, very different to the normal kind of maps I have played. It's very mountainous, very uh, gradient inspired like there's loads of gradients and it's gonna definitely put a lot of strain on most buses it's definitely a challenging map it's not uh not the most easiest map to drive around because they're quite tight there are loads of tight roads and stuff like that so it's it's an interesting map i'll try and get all the routes done like in a video over the course and stuff like that that's how i'll probably do it i'll probably do like each route might do the reverse of them as well, the reverse route or whatever, but we'll see. So, uh, what we're going to do in this video, we're going to do Route 560, 560. There's, I think, uh, I think there is about four routes, four routes, I think, four or five routes, basically. And uh, the buses used on this map are the Volvo 99. Uh, 9,900 uh, uh, Mercedes-Benz 0307 and Mercedes-Benz 0405 Camo Solaris Urbino 15 which I cannot I cannot load any certain uh, I I tried loading in but it doesn't want to load with a map or whatever so I can't bring you a video of that with it I can bring you like a video of the older uh, 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 Mercedes-Benz 0307 because I oh, 0405 I think I have that one and then, like, you can, uh, the MAN SD200s and 202s and stuff, I think, work on there as well. And the, what I'm driving now is the 50520 CETO. Oh, no, 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 not, not the, the small one. Um, this is the Citaro, the 0530 Citaro and two-door. But anyway, let's get into it. 560, this is probably one of my favorite routes on the map. It's from this area, and if I get the actual signs up we're in an area called Loi Loivan Loivan or however you pronounce it this is like a terminus bus for fight the 560 and the 555 the 527 just passes through here it's not really a terminus stop so anyway let's let this go ahead and I've put in the timetable driving as an additional bus I finally managed to work out how you actually drive this bus properly which is um, a relief. Oh, I already put the electrics on because we already had the flipping destination boards. What are you doing, Samuel? What are you doing? Anyway, uh, start engines. Let's get some lights up in here because it is pretty dark. We don't actually have to. Oh, yeah, we can have that. It's daytime, it's not nighttime. We don't need the full beams of lights on. That's pretty good. There's no voice announcers, I don't think. Nah, this it's it's not like the nice three generations buses. But anyway. Let's uh, kick it into. Ah, uh, yeah. Kick it into drive. That's one of my things that I, I before I thought it was a kind of problem that I couldn't change gear. You basically have to press the brake and then change the gear, which I found so annoying. Oh, it, it's like I don't know. It's a it's a feature or whatever on um on this bus, but I found it so annoying that I couldn't really work out how to do that at the beginning. 
But I worked out to do it. And I know how to do it now, so it's good. Okay, this is kind of like a little bit of a tight... Let's just stop here. Open the door. Hi, guys. Can you... Oh, no, you can't get in. This is... It's such... Uh, I think for this... Uh, just go out. For this bus, it's one of the most annoying turns ever. Because there's not a lot of room you can turn. Oh, you guys gonna come in? Thank you. Good. Come in, come in, come in. Like, for those two other buses, that's fine. Nice, easy access. You just turn there. While here, I have to, I, I stop here. A lot of the passengers, when this is the last stop for Loivan. And you have to turn this really sharp corner. And then you have to, like, get the angle right so people could, would want to flipping step into your bus. So annoying. But anyway, let's, uh... Let's get going. A different map. It's it's good. I feel good that I'm getting around to doing some more, uh, some different maps. To be honest, because Berlin Spandau map, it's nice, but we need some, we need some more variety. And I think this is a good map to start off. It's a definitely a very, as I said, very challenging map because it has a lot of hills, a lot of climbs, and stuff like that. Some buses don't work. Like I've tried some of the man buses, and it's just weird how some of these man buses have real big issues climbing hills. The AI man buses have no problem, but I don't know. The AI just kind of has it, like, programmed or whatever in to just, you know, climb the hill with no problem. But when I drive, like, man buses and stuff, and I've tried it also on other maps that have, like, really big hills, and then there'll be another map that I will do, I think it's called Gondorf version 2. I'll try and get some videos of that as well. That has a lot of hills, and the man buses just don't seem to cope with it for some reason. I don't know why, but it's just, it's, it's a really weird problem. Oh, crap. And I mean, some of these turns in this map are just crazy. It's just ridiculous. Right. Stretching the legs of this Mercedes. Also a different bus as well, because normally, normally I do the norm man buses or like the... Oh. Really? Oh, damn it! I forgot to um, I forgot to activate the automatic door, so it closes the door for me, which is a nice feature. But yeah, I like this bus. In real life, I like this kind of um, no floor, single decker bus. I didn't. I don't like the the uh, the bendy bus Sitaros, just because you know they were in London and I hated the bendy buses in London. But yeah. What's also cool is actually one of the more, if I, uh, uh, in the university I'm going to has like, we have this university bus, uh, which is run by, I think, Stagecoach, I think, or Reva buses, I can't remember, and they just have like a specific, it's like a green bendy bus, and it's, I don't know what it's called, I think it's called X something, it's, it's, it's basically a, a university route, a pure dedicated university route that goes through all of town of Leicester, that's pretty cool. And basically that's what I would be taking if I want to go around Leicester and just go to university. It's pretty cool that you, your own university has like a like a bendy bus route. I mean a bendy bus on, on its on the route. That's pretty cool. But as I said, my whole issue with bendy buses is just, you know, terrible they shouldn't be allowed in big cities. That's that's my kind of thing. They shouldn't be. Uh, if you have big roads, if you have big wide roads, and I think I should um, take the sun blind down so we don't get blind. Uh, in bigger cities, I think bendy buses just do not work. They're stupid. It, but but only if you have the roads. If you have wide enough roads, sure, throw them in the city, that's good. But in London, as I've already said, London does not have these wide roads. London is very tight, very bendy, very, it's just, it, it's a very multi-diverse city, London. It's very organic, it's not like a grid with layout or whatever. It's gonna, it's, ha it's it needs double-deckers. And that's why the double-deckers were designed London in some sense when they came around when like buses were starting to become a thing because I think like London pretty much 
paved the way for all kind of transportation. Like we started off with like having the first tube system. I'm sure we uh, kind of influenced the way how buses were built and stuff like that with the double deckers. And to be honest, I think double deckers are really dominant in England anyway. Like when I look at other countries, most countries just have single deckers or vendor buses or articulate buses, whatever you want to call them. While London, just or the UK as well, just love the, the, the double decker buses. And I think it's just the kind of origin, basically. England kind of sprawl, spawned the uh, double decker bus. But anyway, let's go back into this game. <laughs> I haven't commented much about where we're driving. It's just, this is like one of the main roads. I say main, but it's, um, it's, <laughs> you guys are seeing it. It's kind of bendy. It has a lot of hills and stuff. This is not, this is not such a bad route. It has, it doesn't have the most intense uh, gradients, but basically there's a route that goes, to, there's a mountain. I think it's called Mount Hall, uh, T. It starts with a T, I can't remember the name. And it goes all the way up this mountain to a city in the mountain, which is pretty cool. And uh, you can put, you can. The thing with this map is that the different types of buses, like the Volvo 9900, is a coach. But the thing is, it doesn't really stick to one route. It kind of, you know, you can drive any of any of these buses on any route really. There's no like, sp oh wow, 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 wow. Get a little bit of FPS drop there. Ooh. <laughs> I will go crazy. I think, oh, ooh, yes, we turn here. Okay, this is one of the worst turnings in the game for a bus. It just this this turning doesn't make sense. It's it's too short. Look at this. I will show you. Look at this turn that you have to do. This is this is illegal. Like look at it. It's it's just not possible. You can't do it. You have to go off the road and into the trees. Unfortunately, that's ju that's just that's just it's you have to do. Oh my god! Look, I'm already on this side. You just have to do, it, and I think that's just it's so annoying. Right? Drop of passengers here. Anyone want to come on? Uh, no, because I think the next stop is the last stop. Actually, quite a short route. And we'll do a return journey anyway, so it's good. But yeah, most of these kind of routes on this map are short. There's not a lot of stops. If I like quickly look at the see, there's not a lot of stops. But it's quite the, the distance between stops is quite lengthy because it's kind of like a rural area. It's not really a kind of you know, city or whatever. It's a nice rural area. Uh, if you guys go onto the page with the link down below to the actual site of where you can download this map, you can actually, like, there's a nice synopsis and a kind of nice read of the actual kind of, like, story of this map, how, like, one company used to own it, and then they kind of used the wrong buses, and the, all those buses that they used broke down a lot, and then this other company, CSK, uh, which I'm now driving in their livery, basically... Uh, used older buses and stuff like that and it worked so they kind of stayed on and on to this uh, area and, and uh, used their buses and the company is now striving because their buses are doing well and it's a good, nice little read and uh, it's really nice that uh, like the creators made like a kind of like you know kind of a story of what this uh, bus company is doing in this uh, uh, town city and no, not a city is it it's a town it's a region it's a mountain region but it's really cool it's the first ever kind of Omsi map I've played with a lot of hills and stuff, a lot of downhills. Look at this like windy road we're going on. Oh my god! It's, and there's a kind of like dip here now where we get into the kind of get into the main road. It's crazy. Now watch this. This is this is crazy. Oh crap! And there's me just being a retard there. Oh my god! And uh, I've completely effed it up a bit, but. This is this is a crazy little turn we have to do. I'll get back into the seat because this is crazy right now. And this just goes down, plummets into the flipping road. It's crazy. Some of the some of the actual like turns and stuff in this game are ludicrous. So like that one we just passed before. The one I was saying that's just illegal. That one is just crazy. Anyway, we are here. We're too early, which is 
okay because I said we're gonna be early. But anyway, we're here at As uh, Estefan uh, Route Two uh, Five Two Seven, which I think I do believe is the longest route on the map. It goes from the like top of the mountain to here, and it go it literally goes everywhere. There's loads of different places to visit. There's like Esky Road which is like on top of this other hill and whatever. Uh, also 580, which is another route which kind of goes from here, kind of goes from one way where no other bus goes through. And I think it, go, it goes to Esky Road. Yeah, that one goes to Esky Road. But anyway, we're now going to just quickly do a uh, return journey back to uh, Loy Van. Let me just change our uh, destination board, if it will change. There we go. Loy van. We're going to go back to the kind of main little bus kind of depot there. Well, it's not a bus depot. It's kind of like a bus station. Uh, let's... Uh, is it changed? Yes, there we go. See, there's not a lot of stops. Just uh, Sibanhi, Center Street, Susan Estate, Brutus, uh, Brutus, Brutus Point, Loy van Arrival, and yeah, basically like that. I would recommend this map if you guys want a little bit of a challenge. The nice, there's a nice variety of buses on here. The routes are some of the routes are challenging and I think it's just a nice little bit of change from just driving on flat ground basically let's just pull this up a bit we don't really need it at the moment anyway let's let's head back out let's head back out be, oh look at that crazy driver me pulling out let's give way to the bus anyway nice little roundabout here most of the end points are like roundabouts here, like in on this map. Most of them are like roundabouts where you just turn back around and go back the other way. Like on top of the mountain, the last stop is basically on the roundabout. Esky Road on top of the hill is like on a roundabout. And uh, the only one that isn't really a roundabout is Loivan, where we're going back to the kind of like bus station kind of area. Kind of the only major bus station in the uh, in, on this map. Right. Anyone coming back with us? Welcome aboard 560 to Loivan. Uh, also, they don't speak on this on this map. Everyone's really quiet. Let's go. Now, obviously, we can't go back the way we came because that was a one-way street. So we have to go back this way where. Uh, basically the 527 and the 580 go back this way, but only the 580 comes back this way, this way that we're now driving. The way I came before with on the one-way road and the curved, windy hill section, that's where uh, the 560 which I'm driving goes and also the 527. While the 580 is the only bus that actually goes back this way on the left side. Look at these, look at these trees just on the road, so dangerous. When another little bit of a hill coming up. Turning can be a bit and oh wow, look at it. Oh, and I think we just flew a bit. <laughs> sorry guys, sorry, sorry, sorry. Crazy driving. There we go, there's another there's a 580 basically. We'll just stop here. And we will have a look. There is the 580 going back to S Tafun. And as you can see, uh, they, uh, that's the man uh, buses that are on the AI, and you can drive them as well. CSK is the transport company. Kind of generic logo there. Anyway, let's, let's, head, let's head out. It's such a great bus, this, this bus. I love the sounds. The detail is good. And it's just a nice bus to drive, to be honest. Very responsive. Good power quite nice, I love it. Simple dash to read, to be honest. The doors have nice sounds, animations as well, I like it. It's one of my favourite uh, add-on bus uh, buses that I've downloaded. A little bit more of an incline. Uh, the old Mercedes bus, the uh, 405 Camo, I think. It's uh, it's a that's a nice bus. You don't get the AIs don't drive. They, the, the only thing that the AIs drive on this map is this bus and the man buses. They don't drive the Solaris Abino 15, and they don't drive the uh, 
405, the old Mercedes bus, which is a little bit annoying. Or maybe they do, but I just have, like, you know, stupidly not installed it properly. But I don't mind. I, it's playable, and I don't mind that it only shows two types of AI. Oh, yeah, and the, um, the coach, the Volvo 9900 also, the AI used that, which is good. I haven't seen many of those. I, they use them on the like, more of the mountain routes and stuff, but you can find them being used on like this route and other routes as well. It's pretty random. But I'll definitely get a video up on like one of on one of the other routes I do on this map, Gataville. I'll definitely like drive like in the coach in over 9900 and also in the older Mercedes 0405. So look out for that. I'm not gonna probably I'm not gonna drive in the man bus, like I've done so much of them, like on the Berlin Spandau map. Oh and here if we look on Sorry I'm slowing down so much, but here is basically the old depot where the old buses that the old company had. And basically look, you can see old buses for sale on the sign there, it's pretty cool. So yeah, the old buses there that the old company used to use that basically broke down all the time because of all the hills and stuff. They're there for sale. It's just a nice little, you know, nice bit of storytelling there. That's actually in the game that you can see, kind of, um, you can see kind of witnesses and, and actual, like, you know, evidence of the story, which is really nice. And this is basically the only, it is the only traffic, like, this is, these are the only traffic lights on the whole map. So, if you are a person that doesn't like traffic lights, you're in luck, because this map has literally none. This is the only one that's on here. I don't know why, well, it's because it's probably a T-junction and it needs it, and it's on a major kind of road, two roads linking up, so I guess you need it. But other than that, I don't, yeah, I don't think there's actually any other traffic light at all, to be honest. I think that's the only one. But again, I'll leave the link in the description for this map. It's called Gataville. Pretty nice. And what the hell? The car just flipping. I wasn't going to give away to that. Rude. Ooh, let me just quickly... Just quickly reset that. Pull down the blind because we don't want to get some, some blind. Oh, and it's still doing it. Just lower it a little lower. <laughs> Now I can't see what's coming up like, over the hill, which is a little annoying. This is a bit dangerous. Okay. Uh, you know what? Just, we're going to have to live with the sun glare, to be honest. Why not? It's not even a strong sun glare, to be honest. It's quite nice. We, we want to see the sunset. Look at that sunset. Now the house is rocking. It's nice. A little fast, but you know, hey, it's country road, no one really cares. Just, you know, driving nicely. This bus can handle it, it's a sport bus. Oh, yes, gotta be a little bit careful here going up this. Oh, another bus. Oh, how close we were there. We carry on down. Right is like another stop, like in the little, like, uh, where the little area where houses are. Uh, the 560 is kind of like a quick little express route. It kind of like cuts certain areas that other buses would normally stop at, which is quite nice. That's why I like it because it gets to like two uh, pl major places, but it doesn't like because uh, like the thing with uh, I think most of the routes, such as the, the 527, which literally stops everywhere. There's loads of places where you can stop in this game. The routes like 527 and, five, and the 555 stop in like most places while the 560 just passes them, which is nice. It's kind of more of like a direct route if you don't want to go up all those hills and get to like the stops where you just stop there and then drive back the same way just to go back on your trail or whatever. This is probably the best route, in my opinion. But it doesn't go up the mountain, so I guess that's the only kind of bad thing about this route, it doesn't go up the mountain. Oops, sorry guys, I'm sorry, I this. There we go. We're at Susan Estate. Could turn the lights on, I guess. Yeah, 
it's getting a little dark. It's getting, you know, a little. It's 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 about it's about afternoon, you know. What time is it? Yep, seven quarter, quarter to eight. Yeah, we can put on the lights. Why not? Look at that. I like the, how the dash lights up nicely. It's really nice. I would not want to play this game, in, uh, this this map in snow, especially going up some of those hills. If I uh, I haven't tried it yet in snow, might try it by myself to see how it is because I don't think this map would be playable in snow unless maybe you have chains on your wheels or something. Because if some buses struggle to get up some of these hills in normal dry good conditions, I really do not want to see what actual snow will do or even rain to be honest i haven't even tried rain i've just only tried this nice kind of sunny weather hello oh, wow, a lot of people getting on and the next stop is pretty much the last stop love the interior simple nice i have quite a full bus to be honest now damn and as i said the next stop is pretty much the last stop Next stop is Loivan, where this bus terminates. Take all your belongings with you when leaving the bus. I think we turn right here. Yeah. See, normally, if we were the 555 five, uh, five, five, or the 527, we'd have to turn right now and go to another place and then go to Loivan. Well, with the 527, it would go to Loivan, then it would go up the mountain. So, you know, this. this this is why, again, why I like this route, the 560. It just misses out all the, like, you know, annoying places that you would have to go if you chose to do, like, the, the, the other kind of routes. Ah, oh, some AI would now be trapped behind, you know. I would overtake them, but there's no real point. We're getting to that junction, into the final, the turning right we're going to have to take into Loivan. Right. Indicate now. And we're going to turn in nicely. Just going to turn nicely in here. There we go. Parking break on. And let people off. And yeah, too early, we know. So, guys, that was uh, Route 560 on the map Gatterville. The link to the map will be down below. I'm going to try and get basic, do all the routes like how I did it right now, do like, you know, a nice return journey on most of the routes. I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, this first ever video on a different map on uh, Gatterville. Thank you for Busman2003 for suggest suggesting it to me on the Steam group. Definitely, if you guys have any other suggestions, I have, uh, as I said, G Gundorf version 2, which was suggested by Mega Bray. I played that one. That is definitely going to be a nice, uh, a, a very, very nice map to do. It's very big. It has it literally has a huge manual that comes with it, so I'm gonna definitely try and get that as well up in the future as well. So this is Gatterville. I'm definitely gonna be doing all of the, covering all the routes, a uh, few routes that come with this map. This was Route 560 with using the uh, Mercedes 05 uh, Isitaro two door in the CSK Transport livery, as that is the company that runs on this map. Uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, finally, some change, some uh, a different map. We don't have to look. You don't have to look at the boring old Berlin Spandau. <laughs> anyway, guys, again, the shoutouts for this video go to Tech Breeze, Space Gaming, and Driver Lewis. That's again Tech Breeze, Space Gaming, and Driver Lewis. Their links and stuff would be down below as well. Show them some love, and. I, if you guys haven't subscribed, subscribe. You can keep up to date with the videos I do. I do um, see and stuff, train sim, loads of other stuff. Sim, I'm a sim uh, let's player, basically. And yeah, I hope uh, I, I've enjoyed my time. I hope you enjoyed yours. Like the video if you, you know, 
like this, like Gatterville, like this bus I drive, I don't know, like the video that I've done, if you like it. And if you have any other people that might be interested in Gatterville, or whatever, or OMC2, you know, give it a share. It's always helpful. But, I'm Pink Query Afro. I'll see you next time on maybe another route on this map or another video. I don't know what the next video would be. But anyway, I hope you, enjoy, uh, hope you guys enjoyed Gatterville. See you next time. Bye bye. We ain't never given up cause we ain't born for that.